I'm Nicholas Bell. I'm a shooting guard for Kerr Valley Bulldogs. I was four years old when I started playing basketball. Good skin clear. This here my year. Yeah. Hey, look up here. Up here. This here my tear. <laughs> Same fit four days. four days. I grind four ways. Four I play no games. No game. All me, no blame. On the wave, my own wave. Can't stop my shine. Stop my shine. Finish the game with 13, just one shy of a state record. For the yard in the V12 and like 1.5. At 19, Nick Bell 19, from three again. No lie. I was starving skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying, see you later See you later. I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam Blowing like the greatest But it's one who's always greater yo, yo, He nails it again Go beast on him I go beast Go deep, I OD on him Apply pressure, put heat on him Some weeks an athlete of the week is easy to pick so. I think what makes me a good player is I don't usually try to be a ball hog or anything. I try to pass the ball around and get the best open shot for the team. But if I'm not shooting good, I'm not going to try to force any unopen shots or anything. So I've been coaching uh, Nick for two years now since I got out here. You know, he's done a great job both those years that, that we've been out here working. Well, the goals I have for high school are to get my team to the playoffs. And for college, uh, just whatever team I go to play for, go try to help them win the national championship or help them make them better at least. I mean, last year he was for sure one of our better scorers. Um, you know, we really had three guys that scored the ball a lot and he was one of those guys. But then the other two guys, they graduated. And so from last year to this year, we've seen a lot of improvement um, just in, you know, him being assert assertive as a basketball player and kind of stepping into one of those leadership roles. You know, he leads by example. And so it's been cool to see um, that change in him from last year to this year. Like I said, he was a good player last year, but he's just kind of grown into more of a dominant role uh, uh, as a player um, and in leading too. I feel like I've got pretty good leadership on the team with me and some other guys do. I try to help the little kids as much as I can. Like if we're in here shooting at lunch, the ones that come in here and shoot with us during lunch, I'll help them the best I can. I get taken out because I don't do something right, and that's understandable. But usually I go back in and I try to fix it the best I can. If he takes me out for to get other people playing time, that's not a problem at all. So, because I know we got some kids on our team that don't get very much playing time. So when they get to play, I know the whole team gets hopped up on the bench, watching them score and stuff. You gotta have good body language with the refs and other teammates and everything to help to keep them motivated too. I got a pretty good relationship with my teammates. We've most of the kids on my team have been playing, I've been playing sports with since like four years old, first grade and stuff, whether it be baseball, basketball. I think the chemistry here would be stronger than it would be if I were to go somewhere else. Nick's a quiet guy, um, but you can definitely see um, his super competitive side too in practice. So no matter what it is, if we're in, you know, some type of competitive drill, he always wants to win. Uh, in our shooting, shooting drills, we keep track of how many shots everybody makes. He always wants to have the top number of shots made. And so, um, you know, you can tell um, in practice and in the games that he's just really competitive. He wants to, to be the best and, and all those and win those uh, parts of practice, little parts of practices, wants to win games. In, in practice, he leads by example, um, busts his tail, works hard. Uh, when we do conditioning, he wins at conditioning too. He's the first one done running his lines and all that. Yeah, he has that competitive mentality all through practice and that goes over into games too. Watch film about 30 minutes, three times a week. PGC camp, it was a week long at TWU and Denton. That was, that one's helped the most by a long shot. It was mainly kids from like four to five, five A schools and stuff. We had classroom time too at that camp, so that's really helped with my studies during school and stuff also. I went to the All-American camp. That was, that was pretty fun. It was, uh, we had, there was about 80 people. At that camp, we were learning how to evaluate film over other teams and stuff and learning how to take notes and pick out like the keywords. But I think that's helped with notes during school for like math and science and history and stuff and government for sure too. The tournament that we did earlier in the season in Blue Ridge, which was that tournament was all three to five A schools also. And I won the three point contest out of all the schools there and we were the only one A school there too. 
I made 14 threes in one minute. We, we focus on getting him uh, three-point opportunities and three-point looks, and so you kind of immediately think about, just thinking of the last four or five years, you kind of think about Golden State and what they've done as far as shooting three-point shots. And um, he probably lines up pretty, sim uh, I guess you could say, similar to Clay Thompson as far as, you know, he's more of a catch-and-shoot guy. Um, but he can take people off the dribble too. We like to play with him. We like to get him those opportunities to catch and shoot the, the three-point shot. If he's got a little bit of space, he can hit them. Uh, he doesn't have to have a lot of space. So um, that's who I compare him to. But, I mean, he's a unique player too with his own, you know, strengths and his own style. My favorite basketball player is Kyrie Irving. I'll, I wear his, his shoes. And he also shoots a lot of threes. My other role model has been Michael Young forever. He's one of my favorite baseball players. That's what got me into baseball and sports. You're going to get a, a hard worker, a kid that's not going to, you know, he's not going to cause any problems or drama on your basketball team. Uh, he does what he's supposed to. You know, he's a competitive uh, person. He has a, a big time competitive drive. As far as in the classroom, I've never had to worry about his grades. And the two years I've been here, he's always, you know, had grades that were passing and stayed on top of his schoolwork. And so he is reliable in that way. Some players you got to worry a lot about, you know, if they're going to make somebody mad or if they're going to cause problems. And, you know, he's not one of those guys. He's just going to come up, show up and, and do his job and take care of business.